Hello everyone, my name is Ruth Yeoman. I'm delighted to be contributing meaningful work to the democratizing work library of ideas. Work that is meaningful is work that is fit for human beings to do with dignity and self-respect. Meaningful work is also the kind of work that helps us to develop our human capabilities, capabilities that everyone everywhere needs to join together in solving complex problems. I'm going to look at the theory and practice of meaningful work, at the kinds of organisations that are more likely to be able to create meaningful work. And especially in the context of climate change, I'm going to look at the future of meaningful work. So what is meaningful work? One way to think about meaningful work is as collective action that provides us with autonomy, freedom and dignity. Activities that are directed towards taking care of beings and things that we judge to be of independent value and moral significance, and that we also experience as emotionally engaging and worthwhile. People want to have something meaningful, worthwhile or significant to do as members of purposeful organisations or communities, ones that are worthy of their contributions. The drive for meaning is extremely difficult to eliminate. Indeed, people will use whatever materials come to hand, including poor quality and precarious work, in order to create meaningfulness. For example, hospital cleaners see themselves as part of the care team looking after patients, and refuse collectors as stewarding the environment for future generations. But problems arise when people have no voice in their work or in determining the, the purposes of their organisations and their communities. This undermines people's ability to craft meaning in work and in life. An absence of voice does not mean that people cannot find meaning, just that this search is made more difficult than it needs to be. Work meaning and life meaning are closely linked. So what do we know about life meaning? A life rich in meaning depends upon being able to access a diversity of meaning sources, including accessing meanings in work. Generativity is one of the most important meaning sources that enables a person to integrate different kinds of meanings across their work and lives. The psychologist Eric Erickson describes generativity as a concern for guiding, nurturing and establishing the next generation through an act of care. And this is a particularly important meaning source for thinking about the future of work. To experience meaningful work, people need to find something to care about. The philosopher Harry Frankfurt arg argues that loving is a powerful source of universal meaning. Translated into an ethic of care, meaningfulness involves having a concern for how well things are going for those valuable beings and things we have made part of our lives and how we can promote their welfare. It's going to be increasingly important in the future of work to have our activities governed by an ecological consciousness rooted in care, concern and stewardship. Work that helps us care for other beings and things in sustainable relationships. So with this in mind, why does meaningful work matter? Here are some reasons. Meaningful work supports well-being and mental health. It supports individual and collective resilience. Meaningful work sensitizes us to the needs of others. It helps us form and transmit eco-aware narratives. Meaningful work helps us coordinate our collective action, particularly when those activities are oriented around a common purpose. And it is a source of inventiveness for creating new organizational purposes and practices. What kinds of organizations are more likely to produce meaningful work? Meaningfulness in work is unlocked by organisations that follow mutual practices of voice and power sharing. When people do work where they have voice, dignity and autonomy, they are better placed to find that work to be meaningful. But work regimes that lack organisational voice systems accelerate tendencies towards poor quality work that, are, that lack these characteristics. For everyone to be able to exercise voice, organizations must distribute power over decision making and prepare people through education and capability development for the exercise of that power. Mutual organizations are more likely to be able to create meaningful work. 
a mutual organisation combines a philosophy of living with the practical project of creating organisations where we can express ourselves as cooperative beings. Mutuality expresses the conditions under which we are prepared to join our efforts to those of others in order to secure together what one cannot secure alone. It involves values, voice, power sharing and the fair distribution of benefits and burdens. Mutual organisations are voice rich organisations and it's this characteristics which makes them much more likely to be able to create meaningful work. Such organisations are vital for helping us to build a more inclusive, fairer and sustainable world. The values and practices of mutuality are pathways to the kinds of economies in which everyone can lead humane, decent and meaningful lives. But it is people who are going to make these kinds of organisations, and doing so is a form of work. The work of making mutual organisations is potentially a source of meaningfulness, of freedom, autonomy and dignity. So what are the practices for creating meaningful work in mutual organisations? To participate in creating meaningful work in mutual organisations, people need capabilities and status to speak up concerning their different ways of thinking about meaningfulness. They need to see themselves as meaning makers, for whom part of being human is to create meanings, to wrestle with values and to commit to principles. The kinds of practices needed to help people make meaningful work in mutual organisations include purposing, leadership, organisational justice, work design, climate and culture, and relationships. Work is changing everywhere. It's becoming more complex and more responsive to climate change and other challenges. For example, research, research has shown that during the COVID-19 pandemic, cleaning work has become more complex and challenging, requiring integrity, self-direction, skill and knowledge of regulations and best practice. Social recognition of such valuable work includes worker entitlements to voice. Not only voice in, in the form of discretion in getting tasks done, but also the ability to shape the organization itself, its purposes and its practices. Meaningful work in the future may draw upon new sources of work meaning. For example, ethical work, relational work, voice and complexity work, the kinds of activities that underpin people's abilities to make mutual organisations. Ethical work translates moral practices, moral values into practices. Relational work orchestrates joint efforts by building trusting, mutually interdependent relationships. Voice work means having a share of decision making power. And complexity work uses knowledge and technology to generate innovations in operating practices. These dimensions are united by the core task of identity formation, the work upon the self, by which we create identities grounded in responsibility, stewardship and care. I suggest that the future of meaningful work lies in the creation of life value. This work is already out there and aspired to by people in all kinds of industries, supply chains and countries. Ethical, relational, voice and complexity work underpin our ability to create life value or what is needed for us to live together in mutual interdependence. In our interconnected world, we could choose to root meaningful work in life value or our responsibilities to care for and steward human and natural worlds. Creating life value is the kind of purpose that changes not only work and organisations, but also what it means to be human. In the end, the future of meaningful work lies in the collective action that focuses on making inclusive ecological civilizations. Yeah.